Well, we are following new developments after a man tries to kill his wife before turning the gun on himself at a North Jackson hospital. 12 News Marie Manifold has an update from law enforcement officials. Marie, what is the current condition of the victim? Yes, the victim of a murder-suicide attempt here at the Baptist Medical Center remains in critical condition. Now, she was already a patient here at the hospital when her husband came into the room and shot her early this morning. According to hospital officials, they say the couple was in their early 90s and none of the staff on shift were injured in the shooting. According to Capitol Police Chief Bo Lucky, once on scene, they found the victim shot once and the suspect in another room with one fatal self-inflicted gunshot wound. Adding, this must be a traumatizing experience for the workers. A patient that we spoke with from the hospital says the situation is eerie because the hospital is meant to be a place of refuge. No, at this time it's under investigation. There, we have no real information as to intentions behind anything at this point. Uh, I would imagine that this is kind of a um, jolting experience for them. Um, and they will probably enact some sort of safety measures in reference to this. I don't think nowhere is safe, really. So, uh, like I said, I just picked up a prescription at Baptist. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just a problem that's out of our hands. We're just citizens. And uh, what can we do? I mean, it's sad, true enough, and especially at the hospital I spent a lot of time at. Asked how the suspect gained access to that area of the hospital. Lucky well, said, due to their relationship, it was easy for him to gain access to her. Hospital officials add there will be increased security on the campus during the next several days. Now, right now, Chief Lucky says they're still trying to piece together on why this happened and hope to come to a conclusion soon. We'll have more on the story later this evening. Reporting live in Jackson, Marie Minifield, 12 News.